Hi, this is Adam trying to do a video on every political party before the Victorian state election. The second party I'll be looking at is the Australian Christians. Now, I don't consider myself a Christian, but I'm not going to let religion get in the way of my opinion. However, they do have an anti-Islam article they wrote themselves on the front page of their website. But let's not open that can of worms. Their logo is pretty interesting. I think that looks more like an OC. So either they're a political party who's obsessed with teen soaps from the mid-noughties, or they think Australia begins with an O. Also, if you go to their website, I think they assume everyone can read a thousand words per second. The banner at the top of their website um, has a paragraph, and then it waits about a second before switching to the next one. So I'm going to try and read one of the paragraphs as soon as it appears, and let's see how far I can get through it. Here we go. A party with a voice in the political conversation that can shape policy, promote and protect the values that create a bit of... Uh, that was about two-thirds of the way through. Alright, this is the introduction on their About page. It is impossible to rightly govern the world without God and the Bible. President George Washington. Wrong country, dudes. Just looking over some of their policies. Marriage needs to be supported, not redefined. We would not vote for same-sex marriage. It's not a surprise there. Environment and climate change. This is surprising. These guys actually do believe in climate change and they actually have a pretty strong action plan. The next policy is interestingly titled Religious Freedom and Christian Heritage, but the following paragraph uh, doesn't mention anything else about other religions. Don't talk about religious freedom if on the front page of your website you have an anti-Islam article. One of their policies is media, internet and censorship. Fuck. One of their policies is being pro-life and the other one is being anti-abortion. Sort of the same thing. This is also interesting. One of their policies is about IVF. Australian Christians is opposed to any use of reproductive technology by persons other than married couples. Well, it's not surprising that the Australian Christians don't want same-sex couples to reproduce, but apparently if you are a man and woman who just don't believe in marriage, no kids for you either. These guys have a little section on freedom. Uh, in Australia, we enjoy freedom of religion or belief, freedom of speech, freedom of association, and many other precious freedoms. Oh, unless you're a same-sex couple, in which case you have no freedom. Uh, there'll be no freedom uh, for smokers and drinkers, uh, no freedom if, if you want to use IVF, and of course, uh, no freedom if you want to watch anything on the internet without being censored. Uh, but apart from that, apart from that, plenty of freedom. Freedom all around. You can't go around promoting how much you're into freedom and be against pro-choice. That's the whole point of pro-choice. You have the freedom to make a choice. Having choices is pretty much the definition of freedom and you're against choices. Let's see what sort of videos they have on the YouTubes. Okay, this video is pretty ridiculous, um, so I'm just gonna show you some of the best bits, but I'll leave you the link in the description of this video so you can go check out the whole thing. All right, already this is seeming a little bit ominous. Did you know independent Nick Xenophon and the Greens Sarah Hansen Young and Labor's Penny Wong voted in federal parliament in September 2012 for homosexual marriage? <laughs> I love how the title says, uh, Australian Christian Party exposes gay marriage agenda. These people spoke about this on national television. Frequently, you're not exposing anything. A bill would come forth to legalise marriage equality. If these politicians really cared about the homosexual community and our society, they would be trying to prevent the epidemic of diseases sweeping across our nation which are found with extraordinary frequency among male homosexuals as a result of anal intercourse or oral sex. The average Australian doesn't care so much about what homosexuals do in their bedroom, yet they do care when homosexuals want to change the very fabric of our society. And this is precisely what homosexual marriage will do, as experienced by other countries around the world that have gone down this road. California becoming the first state to pass a law requiring public schools to teach gay and lesbian history. All right, if you're trying to seem legit, don't borrow clips from Fox News. Hi, my name's David. As a former transsexual member of the GLBT community... He's a former transsexual. That's only a short jumble of words away from him being a sexual transformer. But thanks to a radical encounter with God himself in my own home, I am now a restored, repentant, born-again follower of Jesus Christ, and I fully support the Australian Christian Party. And I fully support you rejoining the LGBT community because that beard is goddamn hideous. Save our nation. Vote one. Australian Christians. All right, now it's time to rank the Australian Christians Party uh, amongst all the other parties that I've so far reviewed, which has been only one, so the Australian Christians, unfortunately, rank number two. I want to rank them lower. I can't. I've only got two spaces so far. But don't worry, I'm sure they're going to plummet down the list as more political parties join the list.